We are here with ZBrush 4 R2B. Sounds almost like a droid. Uh, the big thing with this version is the new fiber mesh. So I'm just going to test that out on this model that I made. It's not a great model, but I'm just, I'm not an artist, darn it. I'm a tech artist. I do crap for fun. Okay, so we're going to give her some pubes. JK. Let's just draw let's just mask off an area real quick. Cause they showed in the video that like basically all you do is mask off stuff. And you can use fiber mesh from there. So we're gonna go over to the fiber mesh and Whoa, it's crazy. Can't see anything. Let me let me lengthen this up. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Gross. Let's see what this looks like when I render it. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down because I don't want it to take forever. To one, yeah, yeah. But this looks very cool. If it's uh, if it's controllable, that'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness! What? You shouldn't be rendering like that. That looks amazing. Ah, cheap. So, okay, yeah, ZBrush has officially blown my mind again. Uh, again. Let me try something else. So that's, that's one, one method of making the fiber mesh is to draw out the mask and let the fiber mesh grow from there, but it doesn't give you a lot of control. They just released some videos uh, showing how to actually control exactly where your fiber mesh will come out from and it's using the morph target so I'm a let's see I think store this morph target yeah store this and then I'm gonna draw some wings some spots out on the back that I could pull from invert my mask uh, if you are following along and you don't know how to do any of these feel feel free to ask because I'm just this isn't a tutorial this is just me testing out this is how I learn I just go in and play around with stuff. Where's move? There we go. So I'm gonna drag this zombie out. Let me Wow that's not working at all how I wanted to. Uh let me shrink this up a little bit. There we go. Uh even though this is a dyna mesh, I'm not gonna re dyna mesh because I have morph targets stored and that would be a very bad idea. But I have enough polygons to do what I'm trying to do, so hopefully this will work. Make it more butterfly y. Okay. So let me fix that real quick. Smooth. Oh crap, I took off the the add portion of smooth. There we go. Yeah, I painted this. I painted this torso real quick so it would look somewhat presentable. All right, switch, switch. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to fiber mask and preview. <laughs> Ooh, nasty. That looks kind of creepy. Pretty sure it would look good on other applications, but as it is now, it's creepy. Okay, so oh, yep, that worked. So as you can see, it took the, well it sprouted out from where I paint through the morph targets at. Um, what I'm going to do is get rid of gravity because it seems to be dragging me down. <laughs> get it? Ah! That looks amazing. And I'm not trying to draw in this. I made a boo-boo. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ZBrush is very unforgiving, but oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Renda! Oh my goodness, I forgot. I don't have any perspective on this. Uh, also, if you guys want, I'll probably be making this model f available to, for download. Because it's not a great model. That looks really good. If, if this hair is exportable, that'd be nice. Because... I can see people, well it is exportable, but I don't know if the rendering, like the way it looks, would be as good as it is in ZBrush. Because 
from the looks of it, it has some thickness to it. Speaking of which, I will increase that thickness. Man. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's this. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept this. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is craziness. Now, one last thing I want to try is micro mesh. Display properties. Select a micro mesh. I have no micro mesh to test this out with. At least not a good one. Uh. I'm gonna use the gear. It's been there since forever. And oh, thank you for reminding me, ZBrush. Gotta come up here, go to the draw micro mesh, and uh, it's probably gonna look ridiculous. This render time is probably gonna take a long time since it's gonna literally be rendering millions upon millions of polygons. Cause I don't know how dense that gear is. I ain't. I ain't get a good grasp of it. If you're looking at this, what you can do is go back and possibly tell me if it showed me how dense it was. The winner gets their name mentioned in my next video. So, let's see how important you feel. Look at that. Well, while I'm waiting, um, ZBrush mentioned talking about the, the website before I talked about releasing a new product called QR Mesher. Uh, I'm very confused at the moment because I can't tell whether or not QR Mesh would be part of ZBrush or an entirely different product that you have to buy. If it's a new di product you have to buy, I might miss out on it because I spent like 600 on this back before it was um, ZBrush 4, before they raised the price up to 700. But if it comes with ZBrush, that'd be awesome. And it'd be very expected because Pixelogic, they... They're not extremely money hungry. I mean, they have this awesome program and it's very affordable in contrast to the other modeling software out there. Now, granted, it's not as powerful. I mean, it's gr it's the best, in my opinion, at what it does, which is high poly sculpting. But if, you know, for like rendering, animations, and feature length films, I mean, you know, obviously ZBrush wouldn't be a first choice for that. But as far as like organic and more recently hard surface asset creation it is it is a must-have the hard surface stuff I'm still afraid to get into to be honest with you it's it's very intimidating but I need to work on me first before I get into all that technical stuff uh, this is actually taking a little bit longer than I wanted to and I don't want this video to go too long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel that and yeah forget that there we go but yeah I like this so far I'm gonna do one last thing before we leave for the lols. Uh, come back up here to the main lady. Ah, come on now. I wanna be funny. Thug life. Oops, wrong one. Tee hee. Wait, wait, wait. That's very wrong. Um, as you can tell, the anatomy is way off on this portion. I'm not very great with hips at all. I like doing butts, but hips are not my favorite. Okay, so. Let's see. Invert that mask. If it'll let me. Solo that bitch. There we go. Invert. Go to deformations wherever they are. All right, and inflate it a little bit, a wee bit. That is perfect. That is that is awesome. I'm gonna smooth out around here a little bit. So smooth out the edges. But yeah, for the most part. Oh crap! I messed up. I was supposed to store a new more target. Don't judge me. Um, let's see, alright, and sharpen this a little bit, alright, 
Probably should have done this with this too while I was at it. I wasn't thinking ahead of time. I don't want this video to get banned. I'm not trying to make, make pews or anything. I'm just trying to draw on a... You know what? I'll do it here too. Haha. How does that make you feel? Sensors. Almost looks like a face. Almost. Don't quote me on that. Uh, inflate. And if possible, ooh, can I smooth it out? We shall see. Eh. Eh. Not that great, but I'll just run it over a few times. Yeah, it's better than doing it by hand, I guess. Alright. That is ridiculous. I love ZBrush. Um, let's do this real quick because I don't know how much time I have since ZBrush is in love with hiding my clock. <laughs> ah, good times. Good times. <laughs> awesome. Let's see if we could change the color a little bit. Make the base more of a brown so she'll look like a dirty blonde. And I guess this is a good. And uh, let's see. I'm going to mess with all this other stuff later. Oh, I can't change the length when I'm doing it by. That's good to know. I just learned something new, guys. See, that's why I like doing these things. I cannot change the length. However, I will change the twist and see what that does. It's probably not going to do anything. But we shall see. Render that beer. But yeah, uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll have more tutorials and random 3D randomness. Uh, I'm trying not to use random also because I hate using that word. It was just the first one that popped into my head. So thank you. Bye. God bless.